Oh, that was rough. That was a really rough fight. It did feel like a really big jump in difficulty. So apparently you can skip cutscenes. Hey, trophy! Oh, that's right, I'm playing this on the Vita. I guess Vita games have trophies. Right, right. Dude, I can add this to my collection of Platinum and Tales games. Speaking of, I did open up. You know why I'm pressing X so much, chat? Because I'm actually, I re-downloaded Tales of Vesperia on my PS5. I'm trying to get the Platinum in that game because that's like one of the Tales games. That and Zestiria and Symphonia are two, are like three of the only Tales games I haven't got the Platinum for. And Zillia too, so that's why I'm getting the buttons confused. I've been playing Vesperia on my spare time. Fear not, my dear lady. Crystal Knight shall illuminate the root of your ailment. May the light shine upon your Spiria and bless it with divine benevolence always. May my Spiria be blessed. Since the explosion of light on that fateful night, we've heard numerous reports of both the spur and rampaging beasts. These phenomena are doubtless intertwined. Therefore, I must uncover the truth behind the explosion. Alright, goodbye. I hope we get you again because you were a ton of fun to play as. I hate to admit it, but we got a lot of learning to do, Hisui. His Soma skill is first rate. His skill for annoying me is even better. Old Fancy Pants can go suck a lemon. I'll be better than him in no time. I'll hold you to those words, boy. Now let's say we make like hit my hair and part before more monsters arrive. The writing in this game is certainly something. Knights of what now? So, what's with the Knights of Valentine's Order thingy? The Order of Valentin Crystal Knights. The Valentin Church is the state religion of the world-spanning Maximus Empire. And the Crystal Knights are their private army. They will Somas issued and blessed by the church itself. But your whole thugs is what they are. They use those Somas to conquer the world and crush all of the regions. Valentin Crystal Knights, huh? They sure are strong. Don't get your heart all fluttery over that pack of dopes. We just gotta learn to use our somas as well as they do is all. Then we can go... Then we can get Kohaku back to her old self. Yeah. First things first, you need to hone your Spiria until it's much stronger. You think I don't know that? I'll do whatever it takes for Kohaku. Oh hey, his two and ally bonds. Alright, so in this game you really want to watch skits. Because skits apparently affect bond. I mean... I'll be real with you, if you're playing a Tales game, you should watch the skits, because the skits are some of the best things in the franchise. But, um, in this game, even more so, they have an effect on gameplay. I can't believe that was my first trophy in this whole- I was playing for three hours and I only got one trophy so far. I did not realize Vita games had trophies. I don't know why, because I never really- I never had a Vita. I didn't know Vita games had trophies. I will- I will most likely be trying to platinum this when I'm done with the playthrough. This is technically the first boss in the game? Yeah, I get that. First of all, I want to say it's not a big deal. I'm not- it, it wasn't awful. It wasn't an awful fight. It was actually a hard fight done right. It was a hard fight done right, but it just felt really weird to have it that early in the game. It felt really difficult for where it was placed. But hey, I'm not saying it was a bad fight. It was it was fine. I had no problems with it. It was it was rewardingly challenging. Like it felt challenging in all the right ways, but it just felt a little too early in the game, especially as your first boss. <laughs> Because there was a boss with Hisui and Kor, but it was like not as big a deal as that. So this was like, if you want to say second fight, whatever it was. That reminds me though, I'm wondering how Hearts is going to place in difficulty. Like, I don't know, I'm wondering how, how difficult Hearts is compared to like the other Tales games. Because, like, Modern Tales hasn't, like, I know Zillia and Berseria are two of the easier games. Arise is probably somewhere in the middle. I would say Graces is considered one of the harder ones. Vesperia is definitely one of the harder ones as well. I'm wondering where Hearts is gonna place. 
as I play more of the game. And dude, after that boss fight, I am keeping this on normal, definitely. Definitely gonna stick on normal. If there was a moderate, I would do moderate. There's no moderate, though. So we're just gonna stay on normal. Oh, there's a skit. Hey, Pops, what'd you do to that Grim Reaper back there? That Crystal Knight guy couldn't even get a beat on it. You did some kind of weird juju, and then you were able to hit it. What's your deal, huh? Oh, that old trick? I just made it so the laws of physics from its world jive with those in your world. Or to put it more simply, I made your effects, attacks effective. Huh? That ain't no answer at all. I know you did, yeah? What I want to know is how. I remember being your age, you think every question has a satisfying answer somewhere? Some questions have no answers and some shouldn't even be asked, except that is part of growing up. Makes sense? Yeah, I don't know, I guess. Alright, this cast is like... Again, we're early in the game, so I'm not gonna say they're like amazing, but they have potential. I'm, I'm putting my fate in them to be great. You don't really start to love you don't really start to love the tales of cast till a little later in the game, so I'm looking forward to learning more about them though. Insanely so. Oh, that was a good combo. Oh yeah, so Okay, so I think the thing I have, the thing I have that I gave the core is kind of like the art elevator. If you hold the button, it'll auto combo into another art. Kind of like what they add in like, I don't know what the item's called. It's in like Berseria, it's in, pretty sure it's in, you can alter stuff in Graces, similarly enough. It's in a rise, I believe. I'm gonna save my game. Ooh, what do we have here? Adventure books. Ooh, records. This game has records. Nice, nice. Synopsis, collector's codex. That's like the item book. Monster lexicon. Lexicon? What a word. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to my points for now. Also, I have to change back. I don't want to... She playing a Susui now is uh, not a bad idea. Hey, dude. Get kicked. Tiger Heron. Right, that move is hard to hit, but it seems. Dude, Tales of Hearts is really fun. Very much looking forward to it. I've been wanting to play this game for so long. I've just been holding off because, again, it was a Vita game. I had no Vita. I was kind of hoping they would port it to something, and they didn't. And I took matters into my own hand. But Hearts is a really fun game so far. The combat is really great. It's very much Vesperia and Zillia, and you know, I have my grievances with Vesperia's combat. I don't think Vesperia's gameplay is like the best of the bunch. I like it, but I know it's not for everyone, and I know it's like, it's got its like, annoying moments. Like, I know the one thing about Vesperia I don't like is the knockdown mechanic, but I know Vesperia's combat has a lot of combat potential. But Zillia, I adore Zillia's combat. And this feels like a Azilia Vesperia cross to me. Which is great. Watch it gets ports to Switch next year? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I did my Persona 4 Golden playthrough. And when I finished my Persona 4 Golden playthrough, they announced that they were porting it to consoles. Which I am buying it on PS5 because I love Persona 4 Golden and I want to try to get the Platinum Trophy in it. And that gives me the perfect excuse to play it again. The fact that it's getting ported. But right when I finished my Persona 4 Golden playthrough, they announced, hey, we're porting this to consoles. Which I was waiting for when I did my playthrough. 
I was waiting for that, and I'm like, you know what? I was like, you know what? They're not porting it. I'm just gonna play the Steam version. I'll play the Steam version, and I'm like, nah, they, they're porting it after I did my playthrough of it. So I am buying it again. I'm also gonna buy Persona 3 and do it on the channel. I have to finish Persona 3, but at this point, I'm just gonna wait for the Persona 3 port. I will be doing that when that releases. Dude, the games... I went from saying, like, there were not much games I'm looking forward to, but now there's a good amount. Star Ocean 6 comes out in October. I've, I'm, I'm hoping that game is good. We'll have to see. Star Ocean 6 comes out in October. And then Dragon Quest Treasures I want to play. The game about Eric and Mia. That comes out December 9th. I definitely want to play that. And then Crisis Core Remake comes out holiday of this year. It could be like early 2023, or it could be like, I doubt it's going to be December. I feel like it's going to be like a January, February deal. So the games that I need to play have just stockpiled now. Might be one I'm forgetting, but that's about all I can think of. Oh, and then there's Valkyrie Elysium. I don't know what's up with that game, dude. They haven't talked about it. They gave us nothing on that game outside of the first trailer, and I love Valkyrie Profile, so I want to play that as well. Did my controller disconnect again? Dude, I hate having to play wired, but I could not figure out how to do wireless. Luckily, all it takes is an unplug and a plug-in. But yeah, lots of stuff. Oh yeah, they are coming to Switch. They did. They, they said that in the direct, didn't they? I'm personally gonna buy them for PS5 because I I like trophies. It is nice that they're coming to Switch. I know a lot of people wanted that. Good that the fans are getting that. Besides Sonic Frontiers and Persona, I don't have anything else in mind. Oh yeah, Sonic Frontiers, I don't know. If I hear stuff about it that people say it's pretty good, maybe I'll buy it. I'm not buying that day one. I might wait a little bit. My interest in Sonic has decreased, so... Chance of buying that day one is very, very slim. Basically impossible. Then there's Scarlet and Violet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about those games. I didn't say those games on the list because I'm not sure if I'm buying them day one. They're still undecided for me. Especially with all these other games I have to play. I'm just not sure if they're that important that I want to buy them day one. Hey, kick. Never mind. No, stop, don't move. <laughs> Dude, I just love the kick. Alright, that's enough of Hisui. I'm gonna go back to play as core. We'll try out Gaul a little bit later. I'm pretty comfortable with, uh... Core and Hisui. I'm not really in the mood to try a new character yet. Let's be our next town! Corsair. Yeah, so much to do. Get punched. Dude, I wish the text didn't go so fast. I want to read these. This, I heard the beginning of this track, I was brought back to Tales of Destiny. What town was it in Tales of Destiny? Crud, it was... Lienia. I think it was Lienia, which was Stan's hometown. The beginning of this track reminded me of it. Which doesn't surprise me, it's the same composer. 
Thanos doesn't have a thing on this place. Look at all the people, look at the stores. Look, I know you spend your whole life slopping hogs or whatever, but just try to stop and think for a second. These people don't all live here. There's a festival or something going on, yeah? A festival? Oh, right. Oh, you? I know you. You're in front of the, uh, you're in the box art. Yes, the festival continues with no end in sight, while the wolves, wolves eagerly wait for the sheep to enter the den. You are definitely a main character. You're on the box art. No crowds. Uh-oh. Kohaku ain't gonna do so hot in the place is crowded. We better find a place to rest. I vote we kick back at an inn. What's up? Welcome. Feel free to take a look. Dakatori. Give me one of all this because I can get what I want. If you gather the right ingredients, I could take them and turn them into items for you. What are you after? Treat? What do you need for an elixir? What is this, like a synthesis shop? Alright, so I can't make any of that yet. Maybe later. The river goes all the way down to Mount Grimm in the west. It's the same river that Hanselar's famous sh Shmall Fins used to travel. Okay. Wait, was that SH? Small Fins? What'd that say? Small Fins. What's a Small Fin? Is that like a Tales of Hearts version of a dolphin? If you find water, wind, earth, fire, radiant light, or dark willstones, bring them here, won't you? I'll make you something amazing. Alright, I don't have any of that. Lots of side quests. Oh dear, you brought me another Nam coin. Oh, you're the one. You just go around the world with Nam coins. Okay. If you find more, you know where I am. 71 left, huh? Didn't that girl say she would give me stuff for Nam coins? She hasn't given me anything. I think definitely the Iron Male R gives me some TC, so put that on. Dude, I feel like there's a lot of, uh, I feel like there's a lot of spell, like, I mean, I know Gaul hits physical, but, like, he has magic. <laughs> Literally, everyone can use magic so far, except that, um, no, even that guy could use magic. He had Photon. And that girl, come on, she's definitely a mage. This girl right here is definitely a mage. She's, like, the, she's very, she's the very by-the-book mage you would have in a game. She's dressed the part, so. Arms dealer. Oh, it's after a certain quota. I must not meet that quota then. Alright. I figured it was. I just didn't... I just thought I would have it by now. Ultramarine is a merchant that built a commercial empire from scratch. Everyone here refers to him as Guildmaster. What's more, they say no one knows anything about his past. It's a complete mystery. How long have I been streaming? Alright, we're coming up in four hours soon. We are gonna do... I think I'm gonna try my best to make every heart stream five hours, because... As I said, we're gonna be playing this at least until Klonoa is done, once a week. Like, the next stream, it could be on Saturday, but if it's not on Saturday, we're gonna do another stream on next Wednesday. So, the more progress, the better. This is a Valentin church, though since you just met me, I'm sure you won't believe me. I'm an old man, I've been around too long, but I'm no wiser to show for it. I'm just a useless, pathetic old man. Yo, are you gonna have the confession scenes from Berseria? That'd be great. The Valentin church desires nothing more than a world where people can be friends on a truly Spiria level. Come, pray to the winged whale and let your Spiria be cleansed. Cetacea! From Dragon Quest Eleven. Without earnest prayer, there could be no ideal world. Yeah, whatever. Or can if Gaius comes in. Alright, let's go talk to this girl right here. The artist girl. Oh, look! This little girl's painting a picture. What up, dude? Who taught this girl to paint? She needs to go back to art class. Stop peeking, thief! I know you're trying to copy my painting so you can enter the Imperial Academy of Arts Maximus Showcase. 
I'll be your painting. What are you talking about? Don't play the incense with me. I know you're trying to copy me. Play the incense? Plagiarist, forger, cri cribus, quit copying me and go away. Do I look like I have a paintbrush? I don't understand city folk. That's a complicated world out there. You know how it'd be. Right, let's finally go to the inn and rest up, I guess. Go ahead, talk to my husband. Where's your husband at? Right here. 